Welcome to Power BI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a theme using the customized theme dialog box and by editing the JSON file. I will walk you through how to create a theme similar to the green theme used here in this project. Here's the same report, but this one is using the default Power BI theme. I will now show you how to customize this basic theme to make it look similar to the green theme before. In the description below, I've added a list of all the changes I make to the theme in this tutorial. So you can click and jump ahead if you're just interested in how to change a specific part of the theme. Now to start changing the theme, go to the view menu and click on this drop down arrow to open up the menu and then select customize current theme. First, give it a name. So I'm just going to put green theme and then you pick the colors for your theme. I've already selected eight shades of green, so I'll add in the hex code directly. Alternatively, you can just use the color picker. Once you've added your color scheme, click apply to see how it looks in the report. So now the colors have been applied to the report, you can see that each visual has changed in a different way. For example, the multi-card titles are now a pale green. Once you're happy with the colour selection, you can save the theme. So go back up to the theme menu and select Save Current Theme. I'm going to call mine a very unoriginal new green theme. As you customise the theme using the dialog box, I think it's a good idea that you see what these changes look like in the theme's JSON file. So I'm going to open up this JSON file in Microsoft's Visual Studio. This JSON code looks quite straightforward. You have the theme name followed by the list of colors that you added in the dialog box. If you want to add more than the eight colors to your theme, just add the hex code of the color to the list here. Next, I want to change how the table looks using the theme. As you can see, as I change the style of the table, it doesn't appear to have taken on any of the green colors and some of the styles do look pretty ugly. To start changing this, I'll open up the customized dialog box again and click on the advanced option. Here you can change the colors of different elements of the theme. Each color category covers a range of report components. To get a comprehensive list of what each category covers, you can click on Learn More to open up the Microsoft Help page. Here you can see the colour categories or classes and a list of what elements each category formats. Although this has all the information you would need, I do find it difficult to decipher. So I find the easiest thing is to pick a bright contrasting colour for the element and see what it actually looks like in the report. And you can see it changes the row background and text colours in the table. So I'll go back and change this bright pink to one of the green colours from the theme palette. I'll do the same for the second colour category and we'll pick a similar bright pink colour. And as you can see, it changes the text in a lot of visuals. So I think I want to stick to the default grey for this one. Now I'm going to have a go at changing the visual title colours. So we'll open up the customised dialog box again, select the text option and click on title. Again, I'll pick a bright contrasting colour so I can clearly see what this changes. And I can see straight away that it does change the title text colour, but it also changes the chart axis label colour, which I don't want. So I'll reset that back to the black default colour. Now I'm going to change the page background colour. So in the dialog box, click on page, page background, and I'm going to select a light grey colour. And then something I always forget to do, set the transparency to zero. I've clicked on apply but it doesn't appear to have changed the background colour in the report. If this happens, you need to go into the page format section 
click their page background drop down and select revert to default and here you can see now the background is a light grey colour. By playing around with the colours in the customise dialog box, I've concluded that although it's a really good way to start creating a theme and selecting the colour palette, it is better to code all other changes directly in the JSON file, as this gives you greater control over what each visual looks like. Next, I'm going to show you how to make changes to the look of visuals in the JSON file. Now, I'm not sure if this happens in other code editors, but when I open the file in Visual Studio, all the code appears on a single line. You can go through this and manually format it, but I like to cheat and use a website such as this one that will do the formatting for me. So I'll just paste the code in here, click on Validate JSON, and then copy the code and paste it back into Visual Studio and you can see it looks much better. You can see that many more lines have now been added into the code. At the top here you have the name of the theme and the list of colours and then below are the colour categories for the elements. The lines have been added into the code as I was playing around adding the bright pink colour previously. As you can see the foreground one is set to a green from the themes palette and this is the one that turned the table rows a light green. The other rows you can delete, but I like to keep them in there for a reference. Below this section is where I was playing around with the colour of the text and decided to just keep the default grey colours. I will delete these as I know I won't be using them at any point. At the bottom of the file is the visual star section. This section gives you control over all visual formatting in the report. Now you can see that the code for setting the page background has been added, which is great as it can be used as a template as you add more code. First I'm going to set the formatting for every visual's title. So I want the title text to be white with a green background. As I want to change the title for all visuals, I'll start by adding an asterisk instead of the visual name. You also need to add a comma after the curly brackets. And then I'll follow the page code below and add another asterisk and then paste in the JSON code to change the title. So this code will set the title to be shown by default with a center alignment font colour of white and a background colour of green. I've also set the font size and font. Hit pause here to copy the code. Now it's always a good idea to check your code is working after each change that you make to it. So I'll save this file and load it into Power BI. So you do this by opening up the theme menu and selecting browse for themes. Then select the file and the theme code is loaded into the report. And as you can see, the visual titles now have white text with a green background. Next, I'll change the card visual. I want to set the text to white and make the background a dark green. So let's look at the code needed to do this. I'll add the new code below the title section. So in speech marks, add the word card. This is the name of the visual and you can get a list of all visual names on the Microsoft Help page. It's good to remember that these are case sensitive. So if your theme code ever errors, I would check the visual name spelling first. The second line is again an asterisk in speech marks and then I'll paste in the code that formats the visual. So this sets the background colour to a dark green, the background transparency to zero, and the label and category labels text to white. Again, I'll save this and test it's working as expected in the report. And as you can see, the card visual has now changed and has a dark background with white text. 
Next, I'll format the labels for the donut visual. So similar to the card visual, I'll start by typing the visual name. The second line is an asterisk, and then I'll paste in the visual formatting code. So this code sets the label to be on by default. The style is to show the category and percentage of total. The label color is set to a dark charcoal and I've set the font family. Even though I'm not using a pie chart in my report, I want them to have the same labeling as the donut in my theme. So I can copy this whole chunk of code and just change the name to pie chart to get that to work. Quick test in Power BI to make sure the code does what I expect it to do. And it looks okay. One thing I do want to change is the legend for the donut visualization. Plus I want to make the default legend the same for all visuals. So if we go back to the JSON file, I'll add this at the top of the visual style section which, where the visual name is an asterisk. So I want to change the legend and then I'll paste in the formatting code here. The code sets the legend to be off by default, positions it at the top center of the visual, doesn't show the title, sets the title to a blank anyway, sets the text color to a dark charcoal, and finally sets the font and font size. Again, I'll check in Power BI to make sure the changes have worked. And you can see that the donut visual now doesn't have a legend as the theme turns it off by default. I'll select the chart visual and turn on the legend and you can see the other changes have worked and the legend is at the top in the center of the visual. Next, I want to finish formatting the table, starting with fixing what the table looks like when you switch it to the flashy row style. So you can see here, it still uses a default blue color. To fix this, go up to the top of the code and here set the table accent color. Remember, it, the code is case sensitive, so it's got a capital A. Um, I'm setting mine to a mid shade of green. And this is what the flashy rose style now looks like in the table visual. It doesn't look great with the green text. Um, the problem is the table text is set by the foreground color I changed at the beginning of the tutorial. If I change this to a dark gray, it not only changes the text, but it will change the table row background color. So what I am going to do is set the table text color in the visual style section of the code. I'll add this formatting at the top where the visual name is an asterisk. This is so that it'll not only format the table visual, it will also format the matrix visual. So I'll add the table and matrix visual formatting here and start with the values. I'll set the primary and secondary font color to be the same dark gray color. These are used in the alternating row style for the table so you can set them to different colors if you want. I've also set the font size and font family. Now I'm setting the formatting for the column headers by defining the font color, font size and font family. Then the same for the totals, font color, font size and font family, changing the font family to a semi bold one. And finally, the subtotals, font color, font size, and font family. Now let's check it's all worked in Power BI and there aren't any errors. And as you can see, as I flick through the table styles, the text color has changed for all of them. The next visual I'm going to work on is the multi row card. I'll add this at the bottom of the code, starting with the visual name, multi-row card, with a capital R and a capital C. 
then an asterisk followed by the formatted section. So I'm setting the category labels so they are shown by default. They have a mid grey text colour and a font size of 10. Then I'm going to add the formatting for the card title, setting the colour to a mid-tone green, font size to 12 with a semi-bold font. I'm also going to set the formatting for the tree map visual. Here I've pasted the code beneath the multi-row card section and this sets the labels to show by default. The default label style is set to display data values and percentage of totals. The text colour is a dark green, font size 8 and it has a bold font. The category labels has the same formatting as the labels but just has a larger font of 12. Now hopefully when I check in Power BI none of the code has errored and luckily it's worked and the text has changed in both the tree map and multi row card visual. So my report is nearly looking complete. I just have the action buttons and text boxes to set up in the theme. I'm going to start with the action button and I'll add the code for this at the bottom of the JSON file. Starting with the visuals name, action button, making sure I use a capital B, then an asterisk, and first I want to set the background formatting. So the background is on by default, has a mid green colour and a transparency of zero. Next is the icon formatting and this is and this code is a bit different to previous visualizations. So I start by setting the icon to show by default and then there are three formatting sections default, hover and selected. So you can have your button change as the user hovers over it and selects it. But for now, I just want all the different options to be the same. So I'll set each section to have a white colored icon. Finally, I'm going to format the text box visual, adding the code beneath the action button section here. Starting with the visual name, text box, and then an asterisk, and then another asterisk, which means that the following formatting applies to all sections of the visual. And now the formatting code to set the font size to 18, font family, and the text color to white. I will then set the background color. So that will be on by default, have the same color as the action button background color and a transparency of zero. And let's see what these changes look like back in Power BI. So you can see that the action button code has worked but the text box hasn't changed color. So I can try and revert to default in the visualization tab but this doesn't seem to make a difference. So we need to check back in the code and I can see that I've put a capital B in the visual name but according to Microsoft's documentation it actually should all be lowercase. So now that's changed let's go back into Power BI, reload the theme and can see that it's now working. I've got the theme looking how I want it to and it's ready to be applied to other reports. So that's the end of this tutorial it's longer than I thought it was going to be, but playing around with themes can get quite involved. There always seems to be something else to tweak in the code. I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.